hi friends welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you WSOS uh, Windows Server Update Service Installation and Configuration on Windows Server 2012 R2 so here is my infrastructure which I am going to use in this uh, demo so basically uh, for WSOS we require an active directory server and WSOS uh, need to be joined in domain or all the clients must need to be in the same domain where we are going to use a WSOS so here you can see a the first machine is Win2K12 DC01 which is my Active Directory domain server here you can see I have installed Active Directory and DNS role on this machine you can go and check the local server my domain name is victorinfosol.com and my machine name is Win2K12 DC01 so everything is hosted on this machine only you can see the uh, users and computer DNS and also the group policies this is also a group policy server we require a uh, need to deploy a group policy uh, for the WSOS client configuration so we'll see that so the second machine is WSO server which is WSOS-01 uh, this is also running on Windows Server 2012 R2 so basically I'm using all the four machines uh, which is running on Windows Server 2012 R2 only so here you can see if you go to local machine you can see the machine name and the machine is joined in my domain and the IP address is 192.168.1.2.253 and I have not installed any uh, feature any role on this machine so this machine is basically a freshly installed machine I have just renamed this computer and done the IP address configuration and then I have joined in my domain that, uh, that, uh, that the basic three tasks which I have done on this machine and you can see in my in my infrastructure I, I have a C drive on this machine and, and but in the production I recommend you to add um, additional drive where you store this uh, all the WSOS files so we'll see that uh, during the configuration and I have two Windows Server 2012 machine R2 machine node 1 and node 2 where we are going to uh, deploy the uh, Windows updates by using this WSOS server so you can see the WSOS node 1 and node 2 both both machine is joined in my domain with the configuration IP address you can see a node 2 as well as so it's also my uh, part of my domain so this is the conf uh, infrastructure which I'm going to use in this demo so let's here step by step WSYS installation and configuration so the first thing which we need to do install WSYS on a server so I'm going to install a WSYS on my uh, WSO server which is WSO01 so manage add role and feature so WSS is a basically a ro role so select the server on which you want to deploy role WSO so scroll down on a server role feature select windows windows ser server update service and it will give you a pop-up to add a required role and feature uh, the WSS required uh, uh, IS server to be installed and also did .NET framework so add features and click next and here you can see the basically remote desktop remote administration services and few other things is in selected internal database windows process activation so, so leave the default click next and here you can see the windows uh, WSS so you need uh, at least one WSS server in a network if you want to uh, put the update from uh, server to server or Microsoft update is required so click next and roll I'm going to use a, a WSOS and the windows um, windows inside uh, a database internal database to hold the, to store the WSOS uh, windows update so click next and you can see it's asking for the path stored windows update in following location so if you have an additional drive in your WSS server, uh, give it the path of uh, for additional drive like D drive or E drive. So in my case, this is a demo, so I'm going to create a C drive. I have created a folder C drive to call it WSS, and I'm going to use the same folder here. So paste and click next. And now it's asking for web server role. So leave the default all the selection here on the uh, role services and click next and on the confirmation page just click install to begin the installation so 
this installation will not take long time it will take around two or three minutes to get the installation done for WSS then we can initiate the next st step which is like run the WSS post deployment configuration for WSS server so wait for few minutes to get the installation done for these all role and features So installation is almost done. So now you can see the installation is completed, configuration required. So click on lo uh, uh, the launch post installation task so uh, now you can go ahead and click close here and now you can see the WSS folder is created under the C WSS folder is created two, f two folders first one if is content and uh, one for WSS content and one for Windows ser uh, service packages so let's close this and now if you go here click on here you can see the post installation task is running and you know, go to dashboard you can see the WSS is installed and IS role is also installed on this server which we have just installed uh, during the WSS installation so click here and go to task detail it will give you the option to see when the task is complete then we can go ahead and launch the second step which is like uh, this run Windows Server update service configuration wizard so currently we are running the post deployment configuration on WSS so wait for a few more few minutes on this once it's finished you can see it's come here stage is completed so it will not take too long so one more thing we need to uh, take care here you can see the post deployment task is completed now so good to go go ahead and close this and if you go here now you can see the it's done everything done so one more thing is required you must need to check you are connected with the internet so because the WSS server require internet connection to download the windows update from Microsoft so here you can see currently I'm not connected so I'm going to add a internet connection to my virtual machine and if you have a corporate network or a the physical network which is connected to internet and you are good to go just we need to make sure you are connected with the internet and nothing is like blocking the uh, windows update or uh, checking the windows update from microsoft windows update servers so if you have a, any issue with that just uh, uh, allow the network configuration from your firewall or security device to get the uh, to check the update from Microsoft so I can see I'm just connected with the internet so so here you can see I am connected with the internet so go ahead and close this now and we need to run the Windows update service configuration wizard so here go on tools and if you click on Windows server update service if you are launching the first time this console then it will give you option to run the configuration wizard so here you can see a Windows server update service configuration wizard so click next and here you can see the warning here if the server is firewall configured to allow the client to access the server and if you don't then go and uh, customize your firewall setting so in my case I have disabled the win the firewall for my domain network so I, I don't need to allow anything here you can see it's managed by administrator so what to know and close this click next now where you want to check Microsoft update improvement program I don't want to go for this and here we have a option if you have any uh, another WSO survey in envir environment and 
you, you want to get the update from that or WSS server so you can s set here uh, the WSS path server name and it will take the update from that WSS only so in my case this is the first server and I want to check for Microsoft update so click select that and click next and now if you uh, required a uh, proxy setting to authenticate the network traffic to check the windows update then you need to put here either you can go ahead and click next and now you can go ahead and select uh, click the start connecting to check the information to be downloaded including type of window updates available product that can be updated and available language so this this step will take some time to give with the all the list it, it will basically fetch the list from microsoft uh, windows servers and it will give you the um, all the op available option in next window so just be patient here and allow that allow the machine to check the these setting from microsoft so make sure before doing running this make sure you are connected with internet so i am connected with internet and it's checking for the things so i am pausing the recording here once this step is done we are good to go i will resume the video from there but meanwhile we can do one thing we can go ahead and uh, create create the group policy for WSO server and deploy to respective OU so I'm going to log in into my active directory server and here you can see I have a group policy object management so I'm going to launch it and here I'm going to create one group policy here right click here and create a new policy and call it like WSO update click ok now I have policy here so I am going to click on edit and basically w WSS configuration is is based on computer profile so I am going to use a computer configuration and here we have a policy and windows setting settings oh, it's administrative templates and windows component and go scroll down and you will get the uh, windows update settings so here you, we have all the setting which is available for like windows update configuration so the first thing we need to configure the configure automatic updates so if you double click here we need to not configure it we need to configure it and we we have four option here basically <coughs> notify for download and no on or notify for install and automatically download and notify for install and auto download and schedule the install and we have a like uh, allow local administrator to choose the setting so I'm going to use this fourth option automatic download and schedule the install so here I'm going to use the like every day 3 p.m. schedule time so click apply ok and next setting is specify the intranet Microsoft update service location so here I'm going to enable this and you can see the path we have to HTTP colon slash slash and the server name wsus hyphen zero one including your fully qualified domain name victorvisol.com and make sure when you're typing this make sure you, it's responding to is so i'm going to launch the is page enter an explorer and here you can see that it's responding so we are good to go and also we need to specify the like port which is uh, for by being used by WSU server so if you want to check this you can go ahead by default port is 8530 so you can also check from internet permission security services IS manager basically so you can see the WSU the WSS web, web page is deployed WSS administration and here you can see the browse at uh, we have a, a port number 8530 so I'm going to put the same here 8530 copy this and paste it here also apply ok and now automatic updates detection fre frequent frequency so I'm going to set this by one so it will uh, always uh, after one hour it will always check for uh, updates to a WSO server so apply ok and basically we have these three option are important 
so we have configured all three important uh, group policy options to detect and deploy the windows update from WSO server we have few more options like uh, do not connect to any windows update internet location so you can enable this by enabling this you are uh, basically uh, giving the uh, permission it, it will not go to check and uh, uh, download any update from internet so I don't want to do this because uh, uh, I don't want machine to go and connect with the Microsoft server for the Windows update so apply enable this also we have one option here you can see the allow automatic update immediate installation so this is what this do if we enable this it will uh, it will initiate the installation as soon as possible once the like you can see automatically update will install immediately install these update once they are downloaded and ready to install so I'm going to enable this because I want the windows update to as soon as possible install once it's ready to down ready to install on client machine so we have done the basically the few required settings so also we have here option restart prompt to uh, reprompt for restart uh, with schedule installation so I can go ahead and select the time on which on how many frequent uh, time duration you want the machine to give the option to client to uh, users to uh, restart so by default it's 10 minutes so you can you can configure it like 30 minutes or whatever so I'm going to configure it 30 mi minutes so this is all the setting is deployed and now you can go ahead and close this and we need to link this GPO at an any location so I'm going to link at uh, my Noeda uh, OU on a server so we have all uh, these two nodes at the this path if you want to check we can go ahead and check here tools active users and computers here you can see the Noeda under so server I have both the node connected uh, located here so I'm I want to uh, apply this policy here only so right click and here we have the linked and existing GPO so I'm going to apply WSOS here so now you can see the policy is updated here and if you go on nodes and go to run and rsfp.msc to it's rsop.msc to check the resultant set of policy which is being um, used by this machine or uh, this computer account or user account so uh, we'll check the what is policy which is coming so if you go here and go to properties basically you can see the username and computer name which policy and if you go to computer configuration and properties you can see we are getting only two policy right now which is um, default domain policy and firewall and now I'm going to refresh the policy from command prompt type GP up date now it will refresh the policy for both the computer and user account so computer account policy has been completed successfully now it's processing for users so both the policy has been refreshed so now go ahead here and, and refresh query if we can do and now once it's done we can go here and check the properties now you can see the WSS policy is also coming here so good to know and if you go to computer templates windows component windows update you can see these policy has coming from uh, active directory and same I'm going to do here on my machine 2 which is basically GP update run the GP update and wait for uh, policy to be refreshed for computer and user account. Computer account refresh now. Must see 
and now check the policy is coming or not so whenever you are not getting connected with the WSS and you are not getting update on your client machine or the server machine from WSS you can go ahead and check the uh, uh, GP updates uh, is running and you are able to see the policy on by using the RSOP so here you can see the policy is coming so we are good to go we can go ahead and close this If you go here, it's still checking for a Windows Server Update Service Configuration Wizard is still running. So wait for it. It will take some few time. It will it will take a long time, like 20 to 30 minutes to check the everything for us. So just just hold on and get the this wizard completed. So now it's completed. Click on Next now we have option to download the update for which language so so in uh, in my case I'm I want only a Windows update for English so go ahead select an English if you want any other you can go ahead and select so click next and now we have a list of product which all product is uh, can be the uh, can be like update uh, you can post the update from um, this console Windows uh, server update service so I'm going to use uh, only for Windows Server 2012 R2 because I want to give the demo on 2012 R2 server so go scroll down and we have here Windows Server 2012 R2 so go ahead and select this the server which is you want to update and click next also you can go as, uh, go ahead and select the like products r related to windows or you can go ahead and select the system system center sql office everything exchange so everything you can update so my case i'm going to give you the demo of updating windows server 2012 r2 only so click next now here you can see the which products you want to update like critical updates drivers and definition everything so I'm going to use the default which is only security update and critical and uh, definition update so click next now we have option to synchronize the update from Microsoft to my WSO server so you can go ahead and schedule this so I'm going to schedule it like 11 11 p.m. Eleven p.m. daily or business hours. So it will take uh, it will synchronize automatically every day at eleven p.m. with the Microsoft to check for new update. And uh, now we can initiate the begin initiate the synchronize for now. Click next and go ahead and finish. And now you can see it's launched the WSOS console and here we have a nice window which is related to WSOS server it's giving the all the um, like parameter and uh, uh, status on the here on the um, first page dashboard basically this is basically dashboard you can see the synchronizing status 0% for now last synchronizing status is successful and downloaded the status for now it's blank because it's synchronizing the status now if you go here you can see the synchronization status so last time it did not find anything and now it's running and it will uh, let's very check it's find something for us or not and here you can see the computer which is like reported is if anything is reporting here then you you are able to find so I have deployed the uh, uh, GPO here so it will take some time to reflect in WSOS console so once the computer is started reporting to WSOS server we are able to see here so so wait for few minutes to done the synchronization and then we can go ahead and check the status for updates which is detected by WSO server so now we have created the group policy for WSO and deployed so now we are checking check for new updates for from Microsoft 
to, uh, from our double source console so it, uh, the fifth step is running and then we can go ahead and do the next step so it will take some time to get the, all the windows update uh, details for our selections so if you go here on option we have a like update source and proxy server from where you are uh, want to uh, want update so if you want you can go ahead and change the later on also you can put the proxy server details so go ahead cancel and put ca uh, class products and classification you can change any time as per your requirement like uh, for now I'm only getting the windows update for windows server 2012 and if you want to go ahead change this you can go ahead and simply select the product which you want and apply and also we have a classification here like what you need to download the service pack updates upgrades and everything so go ahead and cancel and update file and language which you want to select the language you can go ahead and change the language also and we have update file location download download update file to this server only updates are approved so we have option to approve or decline the updates so once the update is checked we i will show you the option where to how to approve the uh, approve the update so this is uh, option giving the uh, whenever we approved any any uh, updates it will automatically go uh, go and download the uh, updates so we have automatic approval also you can set the automatic approval so so i don't recommend to set the automatic approvals so go ahead and cancel and we have a computer status use the wsos console or use the group policy registry setting on computer so this is something which basically we are not using in production so go ahead and cancel and we have here server cleanup also, uh, also. Uh, we do we can do the uh, cleanup uh, cleanup activity for WSO server if you want an email email notification go ahead and set the email notification say daily or um, like weekly whatever you want to set these are the options so now check now now it's like 26 percent synchronized with uh, Microsoft for Windows update for uh, our, our selected products so give it some time you can see the 73 percent synchronization is done and if you go on computers and let's see it's reporting or not so now you can see the both computers are reporting here on a WSOS console node 1 and node 2 so you can see the last last status report is also which is showing as the 61 percent installed and compliance with the windows update so good to know so now what we need to do go ahead and like here create a computer uh, group and approve the new detected updates so i'm going to create new group here so add group and call it like win 2 k 12 r 2 for r 2 servers and let's move both the servers in the same folder so change member save select where you want to map this so win 2 k 12 r 2 go ahead and now if you go here unassign computer we don't have any unassign we have mapped both the computers here so it's good and just hold for some time to get the synchronization done it's almost 83 percent is done so if you go in console now now you can see the few updates are detector security up update critical update so also in same case once the synchronization is done then then i will go and approve these so just wait for get the synchronization done first and we will proceed with the further activity now you can see we uh, this uh, its uh, synchronization is done we found 294 uh, 94 new updates and expired update is 96 so go ahead and approve the like you can see the here yeah, the downloading is status 0 just make sure before starting the approve, uh, approval for updates we don't have any 
uh, like files of folder here the size you can see for this folder is almost zero bytes so nothing is there in a folder so go ahead and now we need to approve the like uh, update so here we can go and just I'm going to make sure I am approving everything here just for demo purpose so in production you can go ahead and uh, select the updates which you want to actually install or uh, install on clients machine or client for WSO so I'm going to approve for Windows Server 2012 R2 and approve so now you can see it's approving this will not take too much time and once the change all the it's approved you can see the downloading is started so you can see the sometime it it use the high bandwidth utilization for your network so I recommend you to limit this uh, WSU server at uh, like uh, some some certain level of uh, bandwidth to don't choke the like it will over over utilize your bandwidth sometimes so we have approved here and for the security update also I want to approve here so but 22 R2 and now you can see we don't have any unapproved here and for security let's check we don't have any updates here and all update if you go and click like any unapproved so we have few updates which is unapproved on critical update so approve this also and now if you go here and all the updates you can see none of update is unapproved here so we have approved all the updates so if you can go here you can see the status and it will started downloaded or not so you can see here so let's check the bandwidth utilization on server so now you can see the it's using the high bandwidth utilization to download the updates and now if you go here on WSS console main page you can see the downloading is started it's almost 6.5 GB downloads for all the updates so it started the downloads and also if you go here and you can see the WC folder size is now increased and it's saving the downloads which is being downloaded by WC so for now let's I am I am pausing the uh, recording here once the all everything is downloaded we'll receive the video from there and we can proceed with the uh, next so we have done this create computer uh, create computer group and approve the new detected update for respective computer group so we have done and for further let's wait for few few minutes to get the download complete then I will resume the video so now you can see downloading needed is zero file and if you want to check the size you can go ahead and here C drive WSS folder you can check the size all the downloading has been completed is around 6.5 GB so go ahead and now you can go on clients computer you can see the start status of installation of windows updates so let's check on node 1 control panel windows update and here you can see the 90, uh, 97 updates are available and go ahead and click on install button begin the installation if you are not clicking on install button it will go and install the update as per schedule which we have configured in policy at every every day 3 a.m. so now you can see the installation is started for windows update so it will take some time to get the windows update done for all the 97 patches so also if you see here policy we have configured like schedule to install every day 3 a.m. and if you go here allow to prompt the restart it always remember uh, remind in 30 minutes to restart the computer so wait for installation to be completed then we can reboot the machines as per our requirement 
so now you can see the both the machine is updated at 99 and 98 percent and if I go to node 1 here you can see it's uh, updated and we can go ahead and reboot the machine now click on restart and same you can click here to restart this machine so this is all about how, how to install and configure WSO server so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail address thank you once again bye bye